Hello everyone, Linda here. I will apologise for the state of my hands before I start showing you what I've been getting from the charity shops. I've been painting and uh, I get most of the paint on me. So um, I was working at the charity shop that I volunteer at uh, yesterday and on Sunday there was a big farmer's market there and all the road was closed. I did intend to try and get some footage of it but it was just so busy that it, it wasn't really possible. So here's a few things that I've got. I've got this little teacup and saucer yesterday, which is really pretty. And that was a pound. And then this is a bit clothes related, so there's only a few clothes bits, ladies. So if you're not interested, then obviously just skip forward. So I got this bag, which is a Marks and Spencers one, and it's still got the, uh, the ticket on. Let's see, on the bag. Uh, and it should have been £21 and it was actually £5 so I was quite pleased to get that and I got this shirt uh, which is a Moda brand which is quite a good brand over here uh, and that was £2.50 and then I got this large scarf shawl type thing and that was £1.50 and that's brand new that's still got tags on as well and then i got this shirt blouse uh, which is really nice and that's three pounds fifty and then back to crafty stuff and i got these little pretty plates that i'm gonna i've just been decorating a little hallway um so these are gonna probably go in there and they were 20p each And then I got these two plates and they were, I think they were 50p each, I'm not sure on that one. I got two of these canisters, which somehow, I'm not sure how I managed to get paint on those. And they were a pound each, which is quite good value and they've got all the uh, segments inside. And then I got, I think I got this actually last week, it's um, a metal... Um, I guess plant but over it's an IKEA one and that was one pound fifty and then um just diverting a little bit I got this today I went to an antique centre uh, I had to go to a hospital appointment and on the way back I decided to cheer myself up and have a look around an antique centre and it's an old sewing machine drawer and about four years ago my aunt died and she had quite a big house and it was absolutely packed with all sorts. She used to be a, a seamstress and she had a table and I just didn't have anywhere really to put it. But I so regret letting it go. I, I wish I'd just kept it in the garage until uh, I'd found a space. That's just a little con pill container and that's got pins in. Some of them are a bit rusty so they're not, not really any good. There's quite a few of these vintage press studs. There's some old parts that belong to a, a Singer sewing machine. There's a few unpickers. Some needles. A few pairs of vintage scissors. Some vintage hook and eyes. This was £10. It was probably... But there's lots of things inside it. I mean, there's a tape measure which you'd probably pay two, two pounds or something for a tape measure these days. I don't know. Some clippity slitters, they're a bit rusty. I get my husband to clean those up. Some more sewing machine parts. Uh, what else? More vintage scissors. Another little arm picker. More sewing machine parts. There's quite a few little little thimbles, plastic ones and a couple of metal ones, more sewing machine parts, some needles, I mean needles they're generally about three pounds a pack so uh, a threader and some more machine needles, more press studs, another unpick packet of needles again they would be another two or three pounds so 
just merely a couple of bobbins but they're plastic ones they're not end of anything exciting another thimble i miss millie's snoring in the background people so uh, if you were snoring it's not me it's miss millie a bit of taylor's chart that's probably not any good and then there's just more odds and sods in there this is a little actually this is a little um a vintage belt bottle clip Probably about 1920s, 1930s. It's Bakelite. That's okay. And as I say, oh, these are quite interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. They're obviously some sort of what you put on the machine, whether it's the bobbin or whether it's the top, I don't know, but little, little bobbin type things with bits of thread on. Right, and there's nothing else I don't think that anybody would get excited about seeing. But what I did score uh, from the charity shop yesterday and I think it was Monday. I did, oh sorry, that's me just being incredibly clumsy. I'll just put those back in the box. I've been spraying some, um, a light pull. Uh, that was quite a an, a really brassy brass colour so I've just been spraying it cream uh, but it seems to have got as much on my hand as I did perhaps on the uh, light pull it's okay now so yesterday some um, donations came in and there was quite a few doilies that came in and You'll not believe this, ladies. What they actually do with the doilies at this charity shop is they um, they give them to the ragman and they go to, to be recycled. So I managed to save save them from that horrible fate. So this is um, a bit of a tablecloth type thing, but there's lots and lots of little doilies in there that I'll cut up and uh, I'll be uh, selling some of those probably. I'll probably be selling some of these these finds because I did find quite a lot so uh, some of these are probably I'll do a video there's this one this is tatting it's beautiful it has got a little rip in it there unfortunately uh, but it's really really nice and delicate it's gorgeous and a pretty standard one but it's really nice color and then I think there's a couple of these which I really like these when they've got fabric in the middle because they're great for stamping on and then there's another little throw thing. This was the piece that I, I grabbed straight away. I, I just saw this. It's a piece of uh, lace. Uh, it's obviously got some age to it, that. Um, I don't think it's been taken off anything because I can't see where it's been clipped. I think it, whether it's just a, a runner or something, I don't know, but that's really nice. And then another one and that's really pretty some of these I've not seen these uh, designs some I have this is the pineapple one and that's you know quite a you know readily available one that one so it's special and then another little one and that's oh sorry and that's another nice one a vintage one with the fabric in the middle and that's an oblong shape which is really pretty another one of those tattered one that's got the uh, raised areas in it and that's the larger one that's probably about 12 inches that one. another one of the pineapple ones round one and this is absolutely gorgeous it's like a cobweb so fine I don't know whether it's vintage or not that one but it it probably could be it's just so fine and delicate it's gorgeous and then just another little doily and another one that matches that's a modernish one and then there's two of these really delicate and pretty ones so that's one bag and then I got more 
this this is some sort of a, a bag type thing i don't know what it is but that's quite pretty on the uh, on the front of it and it's on either side so uh, I take that apart then there's a quite a large modern lace tablecloth there let's pull you back a bit and then this is lovely it's a, actually a chair back cover I think but it's really pretty lace and normally they have like fabric on this section but this is all all lace and that's uh, the edge of it so it's probably about 12 inches wide and it's probably about 20 inches long and that you know it could be cut up it's got some really nice detail into it and a really nice edge so that's lovely and then just a little square piece and this is a bit unusual it's modern um, and it's an oblong shape cream but the back side of it feels a bit plasticky the front doesn't so I think it's I think it's so to make it that it's non-slip I guess on your table uh, so if you put things on it they don't uh, they don't fall off and that's probably about 20 inches and then a little gold doily I think that's been handmade and then a little white one that's not a vintage one that's a, a fairly modern one and then this is a, a little pillow slip which uh, is really pretty it's got really nice edging to it and then this embroidered work on it again it's not a vintage one that this is a, an unusual one it's round and again it's got that plasticky feel to the back of it so it's modern but it'd be quite nice that for a stencil because it's something that you could use over and over again and I might actually try it through my embossing machine to see if it would emboss onto paper I don't know whether it would or not and then this is a pencil case that somebody's made out of uh, cutwork so that took somebody a long time to make that and it's just I just I can't bear the thought that they just throw them away to the to the scrap man it's uh, crazy and then this is a, an embroidery piece that needs embroidery it's not being done uh, but the fabric's quite nice um, but I'll, um, I'll probably sell that if somebody does do into embroidery because it would look really nice when it was done now this piece is is just a complete work of art I think the background fabric is silk it feels like silk to me but somebody's hand done this because one part's not finished so it's got this cut out work it's a, a square uh, cloth and this is all being crocheted and then put onto the top of the fabric and then the back cut away and there's one section where the actual back part hasn't been cut away yet so that's the top bit and then I've actually got a piece that goes in this corner. You can see where it's all marked for it to go. And the top piece has been crocheted but not put on. And obviously the backing not cut out. But that's, you know, taken somebody hours and hours of work to do. It has got some staining on it. Um, it's not something I think you'd probably use. It probably is, you know, for cutting up purposes really. And then... that's the piece that goes into the the corner that's uh, needs just to be finished off and again it's got some staining on it and then some another doily piece there's about there's nine piece nine doilies in there and then the little uh, connectors inside as well and then I managed to find some more bits of embroidery and this is hand embroidery it's an oblong piece um, Roseanne did a wonderful job of actually showing the uh, bundle that she bought from me. My video skills, I'm afraid, are not up to Roseanne's, uh, so I probably don't do these the justice that they deserve. And then that's the back of it, you can see where it's been hand tied off. So that's really sweet. And then this has been hand done, and it's um, a placemat, it's pink, it's a placemat. And in the corner, it's got a little pocket and it's got a little serviette in. But uh, I mean, I don't. It's I don't know how old this is. It, it might be the 60s, 50s, or 60s. But you can see it's all been 
hand embroidered and that's the little napkin and it goes in this little pocket here it's so sweet and then it's got more embroidery and then this really pretty lace around the edge i thought that was lovely put him back in his little pocket you imagine at a picnic pulling that out i just think it'd be so sweet and then there's another nice piece with a centre bit and then it's got the lovely lace, another oblong piece, rectangle, however you call them these days. So that's nice, nice linen in the middle. And then just another little embroidered and embroidered little corner piece and that's just like a little placemat that's got some stains on it. It's just got that little bit in the corner. And then there's a a biggish red one so I am going to be sorting out some more bundles of doilies and I know uh, Natasha um, uh, asked me about one and I'm sorry Natasha I've just not organized it yet I'm just in the middle of decorating and uh, so I've just really not had time but I, I promise I will look a bundle out for you and uh, I'll send you an email before it goes up in case you're interested in it now and then this is a, a blouse that I bought pure, it was, they were having a half price, um, it's not from the charity shop that I volunteer at, it's another one, but they had a half price on all the clothing, so it should have been £4 and it was £2, but it's got all this lovely embroidery on the, on the cuffs and then all round the bottom of the shirt, the blouse, and then all this ruffle detail all up the front and even this sheer fabric uh, is really nice so that, I had to get get that and then this was on, on last Sunday when I worked um, all the ladies clothing all the gents clothing was just a pound um, so I saw this and obviously I'm going to be cutting it up and using the uh, I'm going to actually get my soldering iron because it's on netting and go round and cut it out with my soldering iron uh, and then it'll seal all, all the edges of these. So there, be, there may be some of those that I, I put up for sale. But it's got a really nice little trim as well all the way across the bottom. So I'll just go across with my soldering iron to seal it and, and cut that off. Right, I think that's everything, ladies. So thanks ever so much, everybody, for watching. I will do a little video of how the dyeing process went with the beetroot uh, and just let you know how things looked. I'll try and get that up tomorrow. Thanks ever so much, everybody. Bye-bye.